Nine habits that have changed my life. Firstly, it's thinking differently. The evaluate everything mentality is just to seek out higher level questions. I don't tend to sweat the small stuff so much because I'm always seeking to raise the value of what I'm doing and whether I'd recommend you doing them all. So that first one, I would definitely recommend, 100% to recommend. Next one, committing to one hour of exercise or one hour of work four evenings of the week. So I either do a bit of work or I do a bit of exercise on Sunday through to Wednesday nights without fail. And I have to fit it in those times because that's after the children's bedtimes. So at about nine o'clock on those four days a week, I'm always either doing some exercise or I'm doing some work. The nice thing is if I don't feel like exercising, I've always got the excuse to do work. If I don't feel like work, I've always got the excuse to leave it and do some exercise. Absolutely, that's another total recommend. It's very easy to fit into your life. It leaves your weekends and things free for relaxing and yeah, you feel better for both things. Thirdly, being happy to say no. So oft quoted, you have to do this thing if you're in any kind of professional responsible position or if you're good at what you do, people will ask you for more things. And so you do need to be able to sometimes say no. It's about being honest with yourself. It's about valuing your own time. For instance, I'm regularly asked, why don't you come and work in a shared office space with the rest of the team? And well, I just say no to that because I know I focus better on my own. I only have so much time to focus and this habit has enabled me to get more out of my time. Should you do that? Well, that depends on you. If you're an introvert, then you want to work alone, then definitely do that. If not, if you're an extrovert, then enjoy working with other people. I bet you can get more done that way. Number four is working for myself, and that's a definite recommend. Definitely find something in your life that is just for you and that you are the boss of, and hopefully that makes you a bit of money. You do have to sometimes turn down other people's projects and other people's priorities, and being comfortable with that might not be always easy, but I definitely recommend it as something to be mindful for of that the best boss is the one who <laughs> understands your excuses yourself. Finishing tasks. This is the famous Dr. Hammersley's one touch technique and it just means get things done as and when you do it. Get it done in one setting, one touch. Even if it takes you ages, it's better just to get it complete. I do recommend doing this but Obviously there are times when it's not actually feasible, but as a habit, finish things when you start them. It's a good way to do things. Better to get it done when it's all set up and you're going on it, even if you're tired, even if it takes you till late, even if you have to put off that different task till tomorrow, it's better to get it done in a one go. Thanks so much to iPivo for sponsoring this video. I've been using iPivo cameras at school for years, and I think that every member of staff at my school has one. These are the V4K, and it's probably the most popular classroom visualizer for good reason. And now you can get the V4K Pro with the AI enhanced microphone to cut through the noise and to capture your voice. Document cameras are the best way to model to students how to use a specific piece of equipment or how to tackle certain exam questions. But their use doesn't stop there. Do you need to share documents in a meeting? clear sharp 4k image from a camera which plugs and plays it couldn't be easier need to showcase or to discuss a new model product or prototype flick on the visualizer and show whatever is in front of you want to discuss or develop a new idea with pen and paper a document camera that you can present ideas as naturally as sketching them out in your notebook it's really frictionless and more affordable than you might think check out the links in the description for my videos demonstrating their product and when you're ready the links to the ipvo website Writing more is a habit I've tried to get into this year because it's never wasted. If you put pen to paper, get your ideas out there, then you can actually evaluate those ideas a bit more readily because they're physically formed, if you like. Even if you're not sure what you're doing will ever see the light of day, just get it done. It's definitely a recommend if you do want to be somebody who creates, somebody who makes stuff, who writes. You've got to physically do it to get it done. Less time in that analysis paralysis, more time actually make it. Reading more. I've been listening to a lot more on my morning commute. I've been listening to a great deal of audiobooks. However, lately I've been more often physically reading, not necessarily physical books, still ebooks, but actually the physical act of scanning across the page, of reflecting, of being able to take that pause to think, how does that apply to my life, is really, really useful. So I do recommend there's a certain type of book to enjoy on audio Audible, <laughs> certain type of book to enjoy on wherever you consume your audiobook, and there's a certain type of book that you actually want to physically read so you can actually apply it to your own situation. And if you have something like the Kindle Scribe or any e-ink tablet that you can make notes about that as you read, 
then that's a fabulous way to consume your non-fiction and instructional content. And I definitely recommend that. As you know, e-ink tablets come highly recommended from me, and that is an ideal use of them. Lastly, number nine, enjoying learning. Learning's always been a massive part of my life, but I wouldn't say that I've always enjoyed it. When I was 25, perhaps, there was a time when I kind of thought that I was the finished article, maybe, that I didn't really enjoy the learning process as much as I do now. Work life goes in a cycle. You learn, you take on more responsibility, you apply that and then you evaluate and then you learn again when you get a new challenge and maybe i didn't enjoy that so much when i was 25 but now i'm 37 and i'm soaking up content and i'm absolutely loving learning and there's nothing i would rather do than sit and learn for an extended period of time it just feels like the greatest luxury <laughs> dodging puddles <laughs> It does feel like the greatest luxury to have the time to sit and read and work on your own skills and your own knowledge. Developing my thinking, developing my skills, developing myself. That's the greatest luxury when you've got time to do that. I definitely recommend that. And okay, number 10, going for morning walks. If you have the time, that's also a recommend.